Julian's iconic apples are in short supply this year, and it's because of the weather. ABC 10 News anchor Aaron Dickens explains what happened and how farmers are dealing with it. This place is absolutely gorgeous, and last year they had a record year. There were apples here as far as the eye can see, but the only thing you're going to see when you come here are apples on the ground. This is the worst year. The worst year anybody can remember. Chris Laidlaw is a farmer at Vulcan Valley Apple Farm. Apple picking season is usually 14 days, but they ran out after three days. So what are we seeing here? Uh, the devastation of what's happened this year. Nothing. Right. This hurt everybody. Yeah. It, it may look like it only hurt me, but there's a trickle down effect. Laidlaw says many of the apples didn't make it because they didn't get enough chill time in March, meaning time spent in freezing temps. Normally we like to see snow for one to two weeks, solid. But she says temperatures were higher than normal and the snow melted fast. And then it was very hot with super high humidity, which gives us a lot of these kind of things right here. There were also more bugs and more animals like turkeys eating the apples. Laidlaw says apple picking is their biggest source of revenue for the year. She says she's going to have to cut back on staff and do more work herself. You do what you can with what you have. That's it. There is still plenty to do in Julian this fall. There are two wineries next to the farm and the farmer is making this apple cider vinegar from the apples. Uh, just stop by and support the businesses. The farmers, um, if they have merchandise or products for sale. In Julian, Aaron Dickens, ABC 10 News. Vulcan Valley plans to hold fundraisers in the winter. We have a link with more information on the Resource Center of 10news.com. Meantime, we checked. Julian Pies says this apple shortage does not affect them. They will get their apples from several areas.